a very fun thing. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, <laughs> a very fun thing has happened in that I recorded an entire lesson and I never hit record. So we're back again, again for me, at least, to talk about um, how to uh, how math is a language and how to write equations given sentences. So I'm going to give you a sentence and we're going to write an equation. This is week three, lesson three, very similar to lesson two, except we're adding in a new word here. And that new word has to talk about the equals sign. So, so far we've talked about words for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We also indicated, or we found out that a number means a variable. So if you were to ever read a number times three, uh, we don't know what that number is. It is, yeah, we, we that's as simple as it can be. We do not know what it is. If we ever need something to stand in for an unknown value or an unknown number, we use a variable. The most common variable is x. I will, you will see very, very many equations, expressions that use the variable x. Um, so we, we know a couple things. Like I said, we know the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division words, or at least we're learning them right now. We also know that if we read a number, we're talking about a variable. And the thing that we're adding to today is the equals sign, so equals sign. So instead of talking about expressions, we're going to be talking about equations. So we're going to see, read sentences that have an equal sign in it, and we have something equal to something else. Uh, some words that could stand for equals. One of them is is. Um, something is something else. Um, red is blue. That's not true, but we would that's just another word for equals um another thing that we might say is the same as the same as two things are equal if they're the same i'm trying to think i think those that's a pretty good place to start why don't we just jump in with an example uh the sum of twice a number And 10 is 36. I'm going to highlight some things. First, I want to look for where I see language that makes me think about operations. So it makes me think about addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. The first thing I see is sum. Uh, this twice and is. Those are all having to do with operations. The next uh, thing I'm going to highlight is wherever I see like numbers or um, them referring to a variable. So right here it says a number, which refers to X, 10 and 36. So someplace in this entire thing, I'm gonna have an X, a 10 and a 36. And now I just have to figure out how all of those things relate to each other. The first thing I see is right next to this thing that says a number. I'm drawn to the twice part. When I hear twice, I think multiply. I am multiplying something by itself, not by itself. I'm multiplying something by two. I have twice of something. So instead of just X, I have two X or two times X. I have twice X. The next thing I see is sum. I am going to have the sum of 2x and 10. And sum refers to addition. Addition. So the sum of 2x and 10 is 2x plus 10. We just decoded what this entire first part of this sentence meant. The second part says is 36. This is our new part. Um, this is where we see the equal sign coming in. So the sum of twice the number in x or 2x plus 10 equals is 36. In less than a week, we will be able to solve this. You might even be able to solve this right now. But today we're just focusing on how do we write these things. 
The next problem I'm going to throw your way is going to be, let me think, uh, the product, the product of a number, of a number, I really cannot write some days, and three, is the same as the sum of that number in six. Usually I write these out beforehand, but today I just decided not to. Um, and I can't talk very quickly when I'm writing for some reason. So let me read this again. The product of a number in three is the same as the sum of that number in six. These words probably, well, honestly, when I read them too, what do they even mean? I don't know. Um, I could not tell you what this number is just by reading this sentence. I need to get an equation because otherwise I really don't know what this says. It is not yet translated into a way that I can work with it. I'm going to highlight all of the words that have to do with operations, and then I'll look for all of the words that have to do with like variables and numbers. So product, um, ooh, we have the word is and the same as, which we were just talking about meant like having the equal sign there, and then sum. Now I'll highlight all of the numbers that I see. Oh, see here it says a number, which means I'll have a variable and the three. And then again, I hear right here, it says number and six. Okay. I think we have a pretty, we have an even kind of like split of things. The first part I'm going to look at is right here, the product of a number and three. The product, going back up to my list, is multiplying. So I'm going to have a product of a number and three, which means three times x, because remember, a number is talking about x. It's, uh, it's asking for a variable there. So I have 3x. Next, it says is the same as. That's an equal sign. I don't need to think any more about that. It just means that I have an equal sign in between whatever this next statement is going to be. The sum of that number and 6. So sum, looking at my list, is addition. So if I'm going to do the sum of that number and 6, I'm going to have x plus 6. And then I stop. Now I have 3x equals x plus 6. That is the same as this long sentence up here. The product of a number and 3 is the same as the sum of that number and 6. That was a lot. This language comes up a lot when you're thinking about wanting to buy a house or talking about mortgages, um, any kind of real estate situation or business situation. <laughs> there will be people around you that are saying things like the total amount of profit that was made this quarter is twice the amount of profit that was made last quarter. Um, the difference between the two is less than a quarter, things like that. Um, I don't know where that came from. I just pulled that right out of my heart. Anyways, we're going to stop here for today. Um, thank you for joining me in this week three, lesson three, kind of this part two of math as a language, uh, specifically talking about equations this time. And that is all I have for you. Our next video will be looking at solving one-step equations, so look forward to that, and I will see you later. Bye.